How's it going? We are doing something a little bit different today. We're actually installing a stretch in carpet over ceramic tile. A client don't want to go through the trouble of removing the tile to install carpet. So what we're going to do is just install carpet directly over this tile. You can see kind of what I've got going on here with the tack strip. Let me get into a little bit more detail of how I am prepping my tack strip for this stretch in installation. So I got all the nails pulled out so there's no actually hammering nails going into the, into the tile. We pull all the nails out that we use to secure the tack strip to the floor. Then I cut them in about one foot strips, just an approximate one foot strips. I ain't gotta be too specific on it. I just cut each piece in four pieces. And then I'll actually take my uh, tack strip cutters and I wanna show you the thing that is important about this. Any of these nails that you see stick out like that, which is quite common. See that one right there too. And uh, on every piece, you always got some. That one right there. This stuff will not get a good adhesion if it's not sitting flat on the floor. That one right there is also sticking up. So after we get these cut into strips, I go through and make sure all of these pieces are sitting flat on the floor so that they get a nice, good adhesion whenever I stick it down there. We don't have it rocking back and forth or anything like that. When it's just down there, it's nice and flat and it's gonna get a really nice hold. So let me show you what I'm doing in the back of that. So again, I'm just cutting these in about one foot pieces and then I'll take and set it on a full tile. That way I'm not over a gap or anything like that. I want it to be flat. You can definitely see here, I've got one sticking out uh, right there. So I'm just taking it each piece and that actually will knock those nails right into the tack strip like it's supposed to be. It pushes the nails into the back of it. So every one of these pieces takes 25 pieces of tack strip to do this run. We're going to chop them all up in pieces like that, make sure the backs are flat, and then we'll go further and I'll show you how we're going to secure the tack strip to the tile so that we can get a proper power stretch. So right here's a perfect example. You can see these pieces here. Those two nails are sticking out. Get them laying flat on the floor like that. Do a little bit more right there, but they're all flush with the bottom of the tack strip, so they will set nice and flat now and get a good adhesion. All right, we have it all cut in with tack strip now. We are fixing to apply the adhesive and the epoxy and get it actually stuck to the floor. And by the time we get this done and get our car, our bedroom padded, the epoxy and adhesive that we use will be set up good enough to where we can go ahead and power stretch. We don't have to do any waiting on anything to cure or anything. It sets up really fast. I'll show you. You can see what I got going on here. So I put two rows of conventional strip down here. This is seven eighths tack strip. It's not three quarters. I put two rows down and I stagger my joints. You can see I have none of my joints in the tack strip are parallel to one another. They are staggered. Uh, at least a couple inches or so. That one right there is a little bit close, but that's, I wouldn't want to get no closer than that. That's, that's the about as close as I want to get my joints is right there, just about two inches to apply this stuff to the, to the uh, tile. I'm using this right here. It's dual fast jet tack five minute installation epoxy. I'll let you set right there and you can see that for just a minute. And I've actually used this stuff for a really long time. And I've got tools that have been fixed with this stuff for a really long time. And it still holds up. So that is going to be the holding stretching power. And this right here, hot melt uh, glue sticks with the hot melt glue gun is going to help me, it's going to help hold 
the tack strip right in position until this stuff sets up. So this is gonna get a bond instantly almost and hold that in place until that sets up. So I use the two of them together. And also there are some places, I'll show you right here. So you see this right here when I was talking about, about not having my joints close. I had to, I did this one right here because this tile is actually set up a little bit higher than this tile. So I don't want a void underneath of this I want it to be flat on the floor, so that's why I cut it both pieces right there. That way this piece is flat on the floor and this piece is flat on the floor and there's no void underneath of the tack strip. So I've got just little dime size, probably not even dime size to be honest with you, just little, just little daubs of the jet tack and then I'm gonna go in between each one of those daubs with a little dab of hot nut glue. And then I'll place my piece right into it. And I gotta get it right pretty quick because it sets up pretty fast. So right there. And then I'll come on with my next piece. I wanna put it here in front also, that way I can tell how far it goes down. And I know about where to put my, my dabs there. My little dabs. So anytime I can get a little dog on a grout line, I like to do that just because it's gonna hold better on a grout line than it will on the slick tile. So I'll take advantage of that porous surface there whenever I can. And I put it down and push it up to that. And you can probably see it ooze up in between here, here, and here. It's actually bonding these two together also as it comes up here. So it works out really good like that. Okay, we got all the tack strip done. Ready to drop some pad in here. And I wanted to point out a couple things about the jet tack. It took about one and three quarters tube to do this 12 by 15 room here and probably about an hour and a half of just straight gluing after it was already done, cut, and everything else. It took about an hour and a half simply crawling around the room gluing. So one and three quarters tube and an hour and a half. So definitely, definitely not the fastest way. It's not something that you wanna do unless you absolutely have to but occasionally when you have to it does work okay if i said i was getting as much a stretch as i normally would i'd be lying i normally will get tighter but Definitely, I'm getting enough on this to do what needs to be done for the last. So, I bowed up on it, like if it was nailed or something like that. I would definitely, definitely pop it off the tile. But, I am getting plenty good enough stretch to get this done the right way. Okay, this is the finished product. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you install a stretch in carpet over ceramic tile. Okay. Maybe you guys learned a little bit of something. Maybe you didn't. But either way, I hope you enjoyed it one way or the other. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Daily Grind. Until tomorrow, FBSB's out.